Welcome, ladies and gents. I'm Dan the Man Munoz. And I'm Mike Stan. And we are Movie Menu Videos, your weekly videos review podcast. Here with a review on Steve Jobs. Jobs. Directed by Danny Boyle. Written by Aaron Sorkin. The movie follows Steve Jobs at three different product launches in his career. It stars Michael Fassbender. Kate Winslet. Jeff Daniels. And Seth Rogen. Ooh. All right, Mike. So Steve Jobs. Did you enjoy the movie? Yes, I enjoyed the movie very much. What about yourself, Tim? I agree. I also enjoyed it. I thought it was a very good film. It was well directed, well written, and definitely well acted. Uh, definitely recommend seeing it. What do you, what are the things that popped out for you? Yeah, the acting was great. I thought the direction was great. I thought the um, there's like a lot of really nice visuals in here that are great, and they're very subtle. They're not in your face, but as far as like a tone for the different scenes, and I I really enjoyed uh, the editing style as well, where where we're watching in the middle of watching an argument, we kind of get to see flashbacks of the same argument going on like from years before so it's almost it's almost as if an argument that has never been settled and we're just kind of continuing to see that i really enjoyed that a lot piggybacking off that with the with the editing but also is the directing i love the fact that this movie takes place uh before three product launches and how it's like real time is like 30 minutes of the film is like 30 minutes before the product launch is done. Yeah. And you follow Steve Jobs as he's getting ready for these product launches. And it almost feels like it's one continuous shot following Steve Jobs this whole time, which I thought was a, such a great idea. Uh, it's not obviously not edited uh, one shot because it's edited, but it feels like that. You feel like you're on this journey with him and yeah. dealing with the experience. Another thing I thought was really cool what Danny Burrow did is that uh, the first scene is shot in film. And the second one is shot in in uh, uh, also digital, I believe. And then the last one is done just pure di digital. So as, as the technology uh, got more modern with Steve Jobs, so did the camera work and so did the shots, which I thought was such a brilliant, yeah. like a little subtlety there, but such a great uh, enhancement for the film. Yeah, no, I agree. It's it. And I think this film is full of those little, little uh, nuggets of... Uh, of detail that I think uh, when you watch this, you can enjoy very much. So what else did you enjoy about the movie, Dan? I love the dialogue. I thought Aaron Sorkin, uh, well, I think the pairing between Danny Boyle and Aaron Sorkin was such a great pairing. I know David Fincher was supposed to direct this and, there, and then he dropped out and there was other directors and other uh, uh, people, but I'm glad that Danny Boyle stepped up because Danny Boyle let the dialogue shine. And there's such a, beautiful words that Aaron Sorkin's I don't I don't I believe these actors saying it which is another another like a compliment to the actors it seems so natural it didn't seem to me like it was Aaron Sorkin just writing these characters it seems like it, I, it was believable I believe Michael Fassbender playing Steve Jobs and also Kate Winslet and Jeff Daniels that these were the these characters when they're having their arguments and acting I thought it was superb I thought it was so good no I agree with you and like you were mentioning before where like a half hour, that half hour feels like real time. It, it does feel like that. It feels like you're just spending time with these characters. Like you're just thrown in and you have to follow around Steve Jobs for that half hour and, and uh, watch him deal with all his issues, which is great. And uh, what I like most too is how they humanize Steve Jobs and, and they show all his, uh, <laughs> the negative parts of his personality and how he's not the fr most friendly person, you know. Yeah, which I also enjoy too. They're not, uh, he's not glorified yeah. and he's not this like uh, amazing person that was, you know, trying to cure cancer. He was a man who, you know, was intelligent, but was also a jackass and yeah. he was a jerk. But, you know, it shows his re uh, redemption as well. So it's not just Steve Jobs just being a jerk the whole movie. Yeah. You see like a small growth in him. You see yeah. him develop. And it's not one note. It's there's depth to it, which Michael Fassbender does with such uh, awesome, you know, technique. It's so great to watch. Yeah, they all do. I, the acting was amazing on it, on everyone's part. So, do and you, uh, do you think this will be nominated? I I would like it to be. Yeah, I think it should be. I, thought, I agree. I, I think I, I think great. I, I think it should be nominated all around. The directing, Danny Boyle, knocked it out of the park. Aaron Sorkin's script was so great and natural. There's a great line that Steve Wozniak says, who Seth Rogen plays. It's a great line. I believe it, 
I'm gonna paraphrase it, or if this is not the correct line, it's it's not binary. You could be a, a you could be a genius and a decent person at the same time, which is basically like the theme of this movie. Yes. So beautiful writing, mm-hmm. beautiful acting, beautiful directing. I totally recommend this movie. I'd say dine in, watch it in theaters. I agree, dine in also. So go check it out. Definitely yeah. go check it out. And let us know if you've seen it or if you plan on seeing it, what you thought of the film and are you looking forward to it. Also, if you're uh, watching us, make sure you can subscribe right here. Uh, also, make sure to check out our past video reviews here. Visit our website, moviemenureviews.com, for movie news and reviews. Or if you're listening to us on iTunes, please subscribe to us on iTunes. We have audio version of this video, so thank you for listening, if you are. And make sure to come back next week for all new video review. Thanks, Mike. Hey, thank you, Dan. It's right. been fun. It's been fun, <laughs> as always. Time to go watch Steve Jobs again. Steve Jobs! <laughs>